Yo, waking up and check sales in my accounts is one of my favorite things to do in the morning. So in this video training, I'm going to share with you one of the traffic source that bring me sales constantly. And also not only that, I'll uh, be teaching you the exact step by step how to set up a simple campaign from scratch to how to choose the buyer keywords from the beginning to finish the campaign. Okay. So the traffic source that one of the traffic source that bring me sales constantly that be from Bing. Okay. In this account, I'm running campaign today. I spent not even two US dollar. I got nine clicks, uh, three conversions, and this is the results. I earn almost two hundred US dollar back. It's a huge return on investment. Let me refresh the page so you know that money still stay there. That's incredible, my friend. So, um, Bing Ads and Google are running on both, uh, but uh, this money is come. This money is come from Bing. This money come from Bing. I, I create multiple accounts to testing traffic source. So, this account I got uh, this sales from Bing. Okay from three conversion from Bing. And I'm going to teach you step by step how to set up a campaign from the scratch for you right now. If you know how to set up a campaign from Bing, you will most likely know how to create a campaign on Google. It's similar. But if you advertising on Google, you will need to pay more per clicks. And on Bing is uh, a smaller platform, it will be a bit cheaper or somehow it's much cheaper. For example, here uh, from this campaign, I bought 9 clicks and I only need to pay for not even 2 US dollar. That's a incredible cheap, you, you know. Like on, on Google, basically, I will need to pay about 1 US dollar per click. 1 US dollar per click. And with this platform being, I only need to pay two years for nine clicks. And I only need to pay money whenever people click on my ads. So this is what I like from this uh, pay-per-click platform. Uh, no matter how many people see my ads, I don't have to pay for that. I would only pay for the result, only pay whenever people click on it. If we advertising in another plat uh, platform or with another way, like if you do like banner ads, for example, we will need to pay for the impressions. And if we generate like a million of impressions, but nobody click on our ads, we still have to pay money. Or on YouTube, for example, we have to pay money no matter people click on our ad or not. Um, I would not say that this is the best uh, way to running ads or make money online, but I'm just telling you about like, what I like from this way. Okay, so okay, let's go to the detail. I'm gonna uh, help you on to show you exactly how to set up your campaign from scratch and how to start making money with this. So from this account, I started to gain the impression today and got some clicks. Remember, CTR here is important. You need to know some number. Uh, that will be the, the CTR. The higher CTR, the lower price that you can put, you need to pay. The CTR is quite important. Okay, so let's go to create a campaign. If you, you create a new account, you will not be able to see any campaign here because it's new. You have no campaign there. Uh, now you if you want to promote on Bing like me you can sim very easily create one account for free and now I think that you uh, still be able to get the 100 US dollar coupon code whenever you create one account for free um, whenever you spend 25 US dollar from your credit card you will um, be able to add 100 uh, US dollar coupon code to your account and promoting like automatically being gonna help you to add it to your account automatically that will be about Bing okay so uh, okay let me choose that we visit to my website this is what I chose and this is what you should choose to click on visit to my website click on this option uh, sorry a little bit about my internet is a little slow so you you have to wait. Okay, so campaign name is not really important. This one it will only show to you. 
this name will only help you to separate the the campaign to promote product A from promote product B. Like in the future, you have multiple campaign and pro campaign one you will promote product A and campaign two you will uh, promote product B. So it just help you to separate the campaign. And that's all. Uh, and also if you have uh, a second option. You you have a second option here if you don't want to uh, setting all over again. If you already have some campaign before, you can simply click click on this one and you can click the setting from any campaign that you want to 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 use. So you don't have to to set up the whole thing all over again. That will take time, so it's not necessary. If you have an uh, a, a brand new campaign so you you have no option here you cannot click on here in purchase per day so per day would be 20 US dollar it's okay if you don't have a lot of money yet you can start from 5 US dollar per day at the beginning I just start from 5 US dollar per day whenever I start to, to see sales I can like slowly scale, scale it up and from here location where you want your ads to appear so depends on your target uh, market, uh, you will need to know your target audience, like whether they're from US, UK, or from Asia, or from uh, from Europe. You need to know where they are from, and then you can uh, choose the target location. You can click on this one. For example, if I'm promote a product from United States, US. Okay, so United Kingdom, United States. I'm gonna click on this one. After you know your target uh, audience, where they are from then the second step would be you have to pay attention on this step because if you don't click on this step then your ads will show to everybody then you will waste a lot of money and from here the advanced option you should uncheck the people searching for or viewing pages about your target location you should leave this one blank because if you use this one people from for example if I'm promoting um, product in the US for example but people from Asia from uh, Cambodia or from Laos or from uh, Thailand if they if they use the keywords that I'm beating uh, my ass still showing up to, to them and if they click on my ass then I will make no sales because my product or my service is not it's like not open to Asia yet for example so you will need to uh, leave this one blank at the beginning I didn't know that so I, I check them both and I waste a lot of money so people in your target location this is the only option that you should choose and English yeah I would choose English and I'm gonna click on save and go to the next step okay so enter your website so if you have a landing page or a website you should type it here but it's not really important because this step is only about like choosing the the, the buyer keyword and sometimes if you type your your website here then you will base on that and choose the or recommend keywords on this side for you but there's a lot of time that keywords is not targeted enough or it's not a buyer keyword so this is not really important you can just leave it blank or if you have to type the the, the website you can just simply type your website here it's okay but but the, the most important part is to, to choose the buyer keyword and what type of keyword that you should paste on here because there's three type of keyword after you already have a buy keyword in your hand you will need to choose the type of keywords to add to your account there's three type of keywords the, the the exact match type and the phrase match type and the broad match type so what is the difference between three of them okay so the first one the exact match would be uh, if you go to Bing for example if people they go to Bing and if you beat the keyword iPhone 11 for example so this is the exact ma the exact match keyword We're gonna look like this and if you if you choose this uh, exact match and you add this keyword into your account whenever people they use Bing they will need to to type the exact keyword like that then your ad will show up so people have to type the keyword iPhone 11 they cannot type if they type the uh, other keyword your ad will not show up that's all okay and the second the second type of keyword the second type of keyword okay so this we call the phrase match and this one will bring you 
a lot more traffic but you will have to be careful because there's a lot of uh, keywords that it will not bring you targeted buyer traffic so you have to be uh, be careful with this type of keyword so how it work okay so whenever people they type iPhone 11 second hand for example they will type something else around this keyword but this phrase will be included in the the, the, the the whole keyword thing so if they type iPhone 11 for for kid for example for kid or iPhone 11 second hand for example and if you're selling um, one iPhone 11 new the brand new and if, if they poor people or not poor people but people they just they just want to use a second hand phone so they're gonna type the second hand phone so they only looking for a second uh, second hand phone iPhone 11 uh, and they use that keyword they type on Bing then your ad will show up and if they click on your uh, ad then that's not the target that's not by uh, targeted by uh, uh, traffic or visitors for you. So in order to use this one, you will have to combine with negative keyword. So uh, later, or if you want to, to learn more about negative keyword, just type down in the comment below. So I know that you uh, would like to learn more how to use negative keyword to prevent untargeted traffic come into your site. Okay. Or if uh, later, I still remember, I will teach you in this video training. Okay, so th that will be included. Okay, and the last type of keyword that will be... Okay, so this is the broad, broad keyword. So this one will bring you a huge amount of traffic. Obviously, again, there's a lot of untargeted traffic. Okay, so this, this is how it works. So iPhone 11, people can type keyword like phone, for example, or cell phone, or phone for kids, or secondhand phone. Can you see there's a lot of different types of keywords they type into Bing and your ad will show up. So that will bring you a lot of not targeted uh, traffic, but that will bring you a lot of visitors and less conversion. Absolutely. More clicks, but less conversion. So at the beginning, I would not recommend you to use this one. You will uh, only need to or want to pay for the result. So uh, these two type of keywords want to bring you the most result that I, I, I'm using now. And I highly recommend you to, to use this group name phone, for example. Phone. And I'm going to go to the next step. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to share with you how to choose the buy keyword. So buy keyword here should be the name of the product or the name of the service that you are promoting. For example, if I'm selling one iPhone 11, for example, so what is the buy keyword? So what keyword that people will type on Google or Bing to find or to searching for my product or for my service? Obviously, they would type iPhone 11. That will be the keyword that I used to bought my first iPhone 3 long, long time ago when I bought my first iPhone 3 in, in Hanoi, Vietnam. So I, I used the keywords iPhone 3 in Hanoi. Boom. That is the name of the product. And plus with the location, then that will be the, 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 the buyer keyword. So that's how you, you choose the buyer keyword. You simply use the name of the product or the name of the service. Very simple. And that will be the best type of buy keywords that you should focus on. So in this case study, in this uh, example, I'm going to use uh, uh, iPhone 11, for example. Okay, I'm going to create an app. Okay, let's say this is my website. Just for example, and headline. If you're selling iPhone, for example, I'm selling iPhone in New York, for example. Can be best, can be cheap, can be special. Best iPhone in New York. Okay, so your ad will look like this. And um, you don't have to worry about creating this ads too much because I'm going to teach you one of the great ways for you to get started very quickly simply by copy and paste. Okay, so here's the idea. We go to bing.com so the idea is we spy our competitor we go to bing and we use the exact keyword the buy keywords that we're using to spy our competitor and we can copy the app from our competitor 
simple as that. Or we can look at the list of the promotion. There's a lot of advertisers that they are promoting. And then we choose the ads that got our attention the most. So how good is that? So we, we by doing so, we can do we can we can use the best app without have to think too much. How cool is that? How fast is that? I'm gonna click on save now. It's okay, I think. Okay, I'm gonna click on save and go to the next step. With this key, I will get get a lot of clicks per per month. Uh, but this bit basically, I will not do one US dollar per click click like this. I would like basically, I would like to pay thirty cent per click first and see if if I would I would test with thirty cent per click first, and if I see uh, I get two little clicks per day, I would I would. Uh, increase the beat for a little bit like can be 33 35 or even 40 to see when it started to gain the clicks I would have the dat data to, to optimize my campaign my system if I started to see sales I will be able to increase my beat more but if I see that I, I get a lot of clicks but no sales then I have to optimize my system or even I have to choose the another keyword but basically the name of the, the product is totally target the name of the product is the best buy keyword that you can focus and because you you should remember that you should put the the buy the, the keyword on the your first title your title and your the, the body of your ad that should include okay so whenever the keyword that you bidding for and and that keyword is appear in your title and in your the the ad of the the body of the, your ad then the CTR Everything is related to each other, so the CTR you will get, you will be able to get uh, the CTR is high, and because of that, you will be able to pay for cheap click. If you be bidding for iPhone 11, but your ad is like how to sell real estate in New York, for example, it's not related to each other at all, and then uh, the CTR will be very low. Then you will have to pay a lot of money to be able to maintain the position on on Bing to be able to get clicks so that's it for this video training if you do like it please like and share and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm going to use my youtube channel to publish and share a lot of great content and training in the future um, also if you like to learn more about pay-per-click campaign and making sales online or uh, increase the sale no matter online or offline that you have I would highly recommend you to check out an advanced training below this video in the description so from that training you will be able to uh, learn and master both uh, Google and Bing from the beginning to the end uh, the advanced level how to choose more buyer keyword and which location that you should target that you that's everything that you need to know about pay-per-click campaign from Google and Bing and also you'll be able to get one th right now right now you'll be able to get 1000 extra coupon for ad running for free right? which is you promoting on Google for example you will be able to get 1000 restaurant coupon how amazing is that from this campaign i only pay for nine clicks and spend not even two years two years dollar and again 200 years dollar back already uh, not all the time if this not happen all the time but it's potentially happen and it can co can happen constantly okay so um just click down below in the uh, description of this video for for to check that uh, training for more info. If you have any questions, uh, just write down in the comment below. Uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a great day and bye for now.